I'm trying not to be upset. It's my own fault because I'm trying to get in the house and get everything set up yesterday for the birthday live. I accidentally left my car open. Unlocked, rather. So I go out this morning to go to work and my doors are open, like physically open. Somebody had broken into my car. So I Googled the non-emergent number for the police department here in Fresno. And, and I called. The first time I called was at 8.28. She said they would dispatch someone out. Here it is. 9.40. Well, it's not. 9.40, I called again. It just kept looping and looping and looping. No one would answer. Like, it did this for probably about 10 minutes. So, I was like, okay. I didn't want to have to dial 911, but because I know it's not an emergency. So, I did anyway. And she said, they have a long hold. That's why it's taking so long. And just hung up. Then I call again to the non-emergent line. Finally got somebody. This was at 950. So she was like, like she was very rude. She was very rude because I called again. But at this point, it's been an hour and a half. She was like, well, I don't know how long it's going to take. It could be a few hours. It could be a few days because it's not an emergency. So you mean to tell me if I call the police to make a report about somebody breaking in my car, it's going to take a few days for y'all to come out? I am just so pissed. I'm so pissed. And then nothing, nothing was taken that I know of because I pretty much cleaned the car out when they transported my vehicle here because like nothing valuable could be in there. Nothing of any value, basically. So they just basically like ransacked it, but they left the doors open. And the apartment, the temporary apartment that I'm living in is gated. You have to literally have a cold to get in there after 5 o'clock. So somebody that lives here did it. So at this point, I guess I'm going to just go to work. This is So, I had said, forget it, and I'm going to just go to work. But as I get to my car, they call and say a police officer is on the way. So, let me show you. I'm going to show you how the car was when I came out the first time. So this door was just like this, and this door was just like this. So both doors were open. And then this was in the seat, and this was wide open. It even smells like somebody in here. 
And again, there was nothing in here for them to take, but it's just the fact that my face was invaded. Like, that's the problem for me. That's a big problem. So I'm going to put it just like it was and wait for them to come. She said they were on their way, so hopefully they'll be here soon. <sighs> just throw the day away. So the police officer, she just called and said she had just knocked on the door. I don't know where she at. <sighs> oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Uh, so tell me what happened. Well, so y'all, I'm home. I'm tired. I straightened up the apartment because y'all know anytime I do a video or anything, like the house is always a mess. So got everything straight. Oh, I didn't show y'all the little outfit. I ended up putting on this uh, two-piece velour set that I got from Nordstrom Rack. And y'all, the only reason why it's still on because I was like, I had to show my friends this outfit because it really came out cute. Hold on. So I got a 4X, but I feel like I could have did a three because the pants are like super loose. When it comes to pants, like I just be leery about if they're going to fit on my thighs, especially when you get them from stores like Nordstrom. Let me see if it, you can see it a little better like this. Like, it's a velour tracksuit. It's blue, and it's so pretty. So, so pretty. On the label, it says it came from Kirby Sense. But, yeah, I got in the four. I got the bottom and the four. It's the top and the three eggs. But I could have went three eggs on the bottom, too. And this was on clearance. I want to say it was like $12. Well, each piece was separately a different price. So, yeah. Everything is pretty much straight. Like I said, this is the living room. I got, well, all my clothes are in my suitcase. Sisters, sisters. I even lined the shoes up on the floor. I got my outfit out for tomorrow. Got the towels and washcloths in the, and I'm definitely not making up the bed because I'm gonna get right back in it because I'm gonna get in the shower. Even straightened up the bathroom. So I'm tired. Today was mentally a lot. Whew. I made sure my car was locked, y'all, so don't worry about that. I think I can actually see it from the back porch. But I did make sure the car was locked. Oh yeah, I can see my car from right here. It's right, where's my finger? Right there. So I can't really see it, but I can see it. It's hot out this dough, y'all. It got up to 80 something degrees today. And it's gonna be 80 something tomorrow. But, Yeah, I'm so mad because I was at work today and I had on one of my favorite bras and I felt something sticking me. I'm so upset about this. Y'all know these Lane Bryant bras is not cheap, but why the wire broke in my bra? So this bra got to go in the trash. And also, I saw on the shade room that there's a recall on Jergens. I don't put it in the trash already, but I love Jergens lotion. And it's a doggone recall. So, said it's some kind of, what did I 
said wasn't it like a bacteria or something so I did get me some lotion from Bath and Body Works in a suitcase somewhere one of these suitcases anyway but <sighs> yeah I am about to call it a night y'all I'm tired and I'll do it all over tomorrow Oh, I had tape already. There's some blue tape in there. <sighs> oh, yeah. There go my... In the stars. So, I'm going to use that instead. I'm going to go ahead and turn this light off because I already got my outfit up. For tomorrow. So, I don't have to come back in here tonight. But... I will see you guys in the morning or well, at some point tomorrow because y'all know I never come back on time. I don't know. I be intending on recording in the morning, but I be trying to be to work on time. That's all. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll just say tomorrow sometime. Good morning. I'm actually up and at them on time. Um, show y'all what I'm wearing. It's just this yellow dress. I can't remember where I got it from. I think it was, I can't remember the name. It's a yellow dress. Cute. And I got on my little sandals that I got from Nordstrom Rack because I didn't pack appropriately. And it's going to be like 80 something today. So. I don't really have any plans. I might grab something to eat afterward. I don't know. I don't know. But I gotta get this trash out. Sitting on the floor over there. And there's nothing really going on today. Yeah, I need to get some more memory cards. And then what I'll do is make sure to do some editing tonight. But other than that, yeah. I can't wait to do, like, some exploring. Because at this point, I've just been, you know, going to work, coming home. Stuff like that. But I want to get out and go. Like, I think I want to go to L.A. next weekend and do some stuff. So... I don't know. It's just a lot to consider, but I do need to start packing for this weekend. And I need to order a dress to actually wear to the wedding because the dress that I was going to wear, I accidentally let them pack it up. So I can't, I can't access it. So I have to get something else. So yeah. Happy Wednesday. Come back inside. I just no top shelf.
I have made it home, showered, did my face routine. Um, so I we did go in a dispensary. Now that's not my thing. If that's your thing, kudos to you. But the merchandise you purchase at the dispensary is not for me. So I just went in because I really just wanted to say quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey. But I didn't get a chance to see, say it because it wasn't that type of crap. So, so yeah, I didn't get a chance to say it, but um, I got to experience that little quick L LA drive. Um, it's not super quick, but it was like three and a half hours, and traffic was not that bad at all, but. <sighs> I'm just tired now, so I'm about to go to bed. Um, but what I'll do is insert a clip because you couldn't really have phones or anything while you were in there. But I did get a little clip of what it looks like. So when you walk in, I thought that was it. I thought you had to place an order like you was at the drive-thru or something. But no, you had to um you had to give slide your ID through a little insert. Then they check your ID or scan your ID, and then you go inside, and then you shop like you had a jewelry store, which was so crazy to me. I didn't know there were so many different kinds, so many different forms, like, and then they have so many different names, and the names are really, they're really uh, creative. Like, who comes up with this stuff? Is there a class? I was just taken aback. But um take me to a look store, baby. I know my way around. <laughs> Woo child, I made it through today. Made it on what three, four hours of sleep. Also, y'all know it's about to be a wrap tonight, but I forgot to tell y'all what happened yesterday. Um so I don't know what it is lately, but eggs and me do not agree at all. So, I don't know why, but I got this little egg scramble thing from this Mexican restaurant. It had like eggs, cheese, mushrooms, tomatoes, um, salsa. I think that was it. But it was, it was all right. It was a whole lot. Like, it was in a to-go box. The box was full. They had to use like six, seven eggs, but... I couldn't put a dent in it. It was just too much. You know, after a while, eggs just... Ugh. She was saying she had to go drop somebody off to the airport in L.A. So, I was like, sure. I, you know, ride to L.A. Not, not a problem. You know, just... Just to get an experience. Just to see how the drive was. So, we rode to L.A. Now, mind you, we were in a Jeep. And the top was off of the Jeep. Which was fine because I was sitting in the back. So, the wind wasn't too much or whatever. So... Um, I actually did notice that when we got through the mountains, you ride through the mountains for about 30, 40 minutes, um, it got colder. So the closer and closer we got to LA, the worse and worse my stomach started hurting. Like, you know, to the point where it make your stomach hurt and like it pulsates and like you feel like you got to go, like, you know, it's time or else. So it got to that point. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just try to, you know, think happy thoughts. <laughs> and I think about me having to go to the bathroom. So we finally got to the airport. Like I hopped out the car before the person who actually had to catch their flight hopped out the car. So I go in the airport and get to the first bathroom. The, and actually it wasn't a long walk to the bathroom, which I was so grateful for. Because I didn't want to be all in the airport, half flying all over the place. The bathroom was closed. So then he was like, oh, well, you can go. I'll see. And so that was like a mile walk. But I got to the bathroom. And when I came back out, I just assumed that the top would be on top of the Jeep. It wasn't. So we had to ride back. 
with the top off and it was so cold and the wind was blowing so hard like she could not figure out how to put that top back on that jeep and we ended up stopping at like a gas station and the gas station had blankets so i bought a blanket so imagine me i hope y'all can't see because this road wide open i'm in the jeep like this <laughs> and she was too but i got to experience the drive when when you think about driving through the mountains i'm thinking like okay we're going up and around curves and stuff no it was just like you know you driving through the highway on the highway but it's through mountains so like you can see the mountains on this side that side so you'll see all, you would have seen all the footage already and we went to a dispensary now when you walk in a dispensary it, it looks just like a box and you'll see you would have seen that as well and you have to like slide your ID through the little thing. I don't know why, because it's legal. So I don't know why you got to go like in the bedroom. Like it's like, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, that was my experience. So I'm about to eat the rest of this food. And I'm about to call it a night super early. It's like, what time is it? It's eight o'clock. I plan to be in the bed by 8.30. Um, Cause I got to catch up on some sleep. And I ain't gonna sleep through the night. But it is what it is. But tomorrow's Friday and then I'll be on a plane on Saturday. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So, look where I am. I'm in Macy's. Let me ask somebody with a women's apartment, the plus size. You think it's upstairs? Nope, it's on there. Compare to the other one. Those two buildings. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. No problem. Here's some good ones. What? Oh, you as well. You as well. Oh. I'm, I'm talking. I'm a little delayed. <laughs> that is really cute. So evidently this Macy's doesn't have plus size. I've never been to a Macy's that doesn't have plus size. What? Because I know this. I told you what I got. Was it Charlotte Booth? Forever 21 don't have it. No, they didn't. They don't. At home, they don't have it in the store. It's online only. Mm hmm Okay, so the reason that I'm shopping, I placed an order for a dress for the wedding that I'm going to on Sunday. And it was supposed to be overnight delivery. I checked the tracking information. It ain't even moved. And I leave in the wee hours of the morning. So now I'm trying to scramble to find something to wear. You. You're welcome. So I guess we'll have to try the other Macy's. Put my glasses on so I can see. Now let's see what we sing in here. It's hot in here. Very, very hot. Maybe. I 
measure my size. You hot? Yes. You hot? Oh, hell yeah. I thought it was easy. These are like 42 kilos. Oh, those are nice. We've made our way to David Bridal because Macy's had nothing. So I found a dress. I'm about to try it on. Okay, we can oh. walk you over here. Thank you. Why is it so close? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -uh. Uh. Okay. Let's try it on. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like I don't like it. It's too loose fit and it's not. Can you pin it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Long choice, huh? Mm -hmm. What else did you? <sighs> I don't see nothing else. Why is this so long? You can. It's because that's part of the strings you tie in the back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make it tighter up top for sure, but then the bottom. You sure you can't pin the inside? My butt's making shorter in the back. It's. I don't know. But when you tie it, it won't be probably. Cause you tying it. Hold it, wait, try something else. I don't know if it's necessary with something else over. Can you, well, uh. Yes, I can. See if you see. Well. Yo, know, I can go look. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I can just buy some shoes when I get home. Yeah. That'll be easier to do. I like that. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Good job, then you girl. Yeah, you doing a good job. Yeah, yeah you, you doing, doing a good, good job. job. <laughs> okay, let me stop it. All right, so made it home. And I did find a dress. Well, I mean, you will have seen the dress by now because I'll, uh, I think I recorded in the dress. So it's a black dress and I got it. But if I find something else when I get home, I'll just wear that. But I got these little pink wedges that I can wear. And then I'll take some slides because I know the reception is going to be a whole turn up. So but I just got to make sure of what I'm actually taking to wear. So I think I'm going to wear something comfy to the airport. Probably the same thing I wore when I got here. This hoodie. These Yeezys. Let me go grab my shirt out the dryer. I just went ahead and grabbed everything from out the dryer. So white shirt, hoodie, and blue tights. Where are the blue tights? That's the only thing I don't like about it, honey. I can't see in here. It's dark. Okay, so that's the outfit that I'm wearing. For Saturday. Now, I don't know if we're going out or doing anything. So, I'll take a go out outfit just in case. Should I? I mean, I could just wear what I got on. I need to see what they had in mind of going. Why would you let them know I can't do nothing, you know, fancy, fancy, because I ain't got no clothes. I know Sunday I'm going to have to get up and try to uh go get my nails done. That's a must. <sighs> yeah.
Yeah, I'm not gonna take no going out outfit. I'm gonna wear what I got on, and if that don't work, then it is what it is. And I think coming home outfit is going to be pretty similar because I don't want to take a whole lot of stuff. Just do black toward tights. This. I do these shoes. And where's my jean jacket? Okay, got my jean shirt. So we're with the airport coming home outfit. Um, Sunday, something loose fitting because I'm gonna have to go get my my feet and toes done. Well, my toes and my hair done. My toes and my hands done. So I'm gonna just have to find somewhere really quick. So I'll just do this these pants and what's this oh these are pants too what about those see if i myself oh i can wear this little get up the little velour set that's been washed so I can wear that on Sunday. Monday. I can wear this on Monday. And that's that. I need drawers. You sleep? Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry to wake you up. Well, you can go back to sleep. I'm sorry. Now, what you end up getting from the I found a dress from David's Bridal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is what it is. You said it has what? I said it is what it is. It's kind of similar to the one I had before, which I'm upset about. But. I can't do nothing about it. So yeah, I'm just packing now. Okay, what time is like Um, it departs at six. I'm getting to the airport um at four. Mm. Because it's my first time flying out of the airport, so I need to see what it's gonna be like. I'm gonna take this wig to wear. I'm gonna have to flatter on it though. Yeah, so I got everything together. I done put my outfits together. Now I'm just gonna put them in the suitcase. That sounds good. All right. Yeah, right. Night night. Yeah. Everybody sleep. All right. So it's eight eleven. So I'm about to finish packing. Yeah, yeah. My rock suitcase yeah, is packed. Yeah. Just gotta so close it up and say, put my face you know, stuff in that bag and turn it to the side. But she's ready. Close to the side. Yeah. Watching back girls clip. If I didn't give a about you one day, I didn't give a about you. Alright, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up. We are packed and ready to go. My homegirl's gonna take me to the airport in the morning. So I park my car in the garage. And I clean up my purse, got my boot bag together. Um, I just need to download my Netflix movies to watch on, 
Well, whatever movie I want to watch on um, Netflix or a series or something. So, I'm going to do that. But I got to get up super early in the morning. So, <sighs> thank you guys. for Oh, and I did find out that my house will be ready on the 1st. So, they're going to deliver the stuff on the 4th. So, I'll be in my new house next month, y'all. I'm excited. But, yeah. I'm tired. And 2.30 is going to come soon. It's 9 o'clock now. It's 9, 11, 12, 1, 2. Yeah, so, 5 hours sleep, which is pretty normal. And then I can snooze on the plane as well, so. <sighs> but, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your love and for your support. And if no one else has told you that they loved you, just know that Candace and Denise says, love you with all my heart. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.